Hi, and welcome to the Strimzy intro video. Let's get started. First, we're going to create a namespace where we're going to install the cluster operator into and where we're going to spin up our Kafka cluster. Now that's created, we're going to pull down the definition files and config files from this web address here where the latest version is held. And then we're going to replace the default namespace with the one we just recreated called Kafka. And then we're going to pipe all of those to the kubectl apply command, which will install those into our Kubernetes cluster. So they're installed. And now we're going to take a basic definition a deployment file for a Strimzy cluster, uh, which will deploy a Kafka 2.4 cluster with three nodes using persistent storage, in this case, just a bunch of disks. And it'll also deploy a three node Zookeeper cluster uh, to do coordination. Now that that's been submitted, we can watch those pods be deployed. Here we can see the cluster operator has come up and it's bringing up the Zookeeper cluster. Once that Zookeeper cluster is stable, it'll bring up the Kafka cluster. And now finally, they'll bring up the entity operator, which contains the topic operator and the user operator. So now we've deployed the Kafka cluster, we can send some messages to it. So we're going to spin up a Kafka producer. To do this, we're going to use the latest Strimzy image, and we're going to run the Kafka console producer in that image. It's going to attach to the cluster bootstrap address that's provided by Strimzy, and the producer will contact that to get metadata information for the Kafka brokers. And we're going to deploy these messages to the my topic topic. So here we're just going to type in some messages. Now once those are complete, we can shut this producer down and that'll terminate the pod. So now we're going to spin up a Kafka consumer. This again uses the latest Strimzy image and we're going to use the Kafka console consumer, again attached to the same bootstrap and to the topic we just created with the producer. And it's going to read from the beginning so it'll show every message that that topic has received. And there we see our messages. So in just over two minutes, we've created a Kafka cluster, sent some messages to it, and retrieved them. Simple as that.